Rumfliege. Ha! Huh. <lacht> Trash. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my life. My head is very itchy. That's not because of my life. It's because I wore so many wigs the past couple of weeks. The past couple of wigs. <laughs> and my scalp is dead. Uh -huh. Quick information for the public announcement. <laughs> My music video to my new single on our own is now finally live. I know we had a little bit of a postponation going on, but it's finally up and uh, well, watch it. All the effort went into this one way more than I had anticipated. It's finally up and I'm so, 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 so proud of it. So please go ahead and click the link in the description to watch my music video to on our own. Walk out the door at 2 a.m. Walk out the door at 2 a.m. We're gonna try something very interesting today. You guys sent me something on Instagram. I don't know who it was. I'm so sorry. Shout outs to you. You sent me this online shop called celebritydresses.com. So this online shop specializes on recreating celebrity dresses, as you might think as soon as you go onto their online shop you will see that there are many different sections you have a lot of different red carpets going on for example oscar 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 now i don't know what's the natural way of saying that the oscars no the oscars golden globe grammys emmys can film festival dresses maybe i'm gonna be on there one day because this year i've been there <laughs> i mean they do have quite a big selection of dresses the only thing is well first of all it's kind of shady because well designers made these dresses with their own mind their own ideas and it's a well, you know they're just you know copying the designer and it's kind of a shady thing to do but i really want to see how good they can copy the actual dress is it gonna be good is it gonna be trash is it gonna be like really bad quality because on their website they're pretty much using the exact picture of the celebrity who wore this dress like on the actual red carpet and most of the time you don't see their version of the dress so they just basically catfish you the thing that i noticed immediately was that all of the dresses that you can find on their website are really old dresses. You even have this section called Celebrity Dresses 2022, but as soon as you go on there, it's still dresses from the past couple of years. So it's it's not 2022. They also catfish you with the time. And I also have to admit, they do have quite a lot of ugly celebrity dresses on there. No shade to the celebrity who wore these certain dresses. Some of these are really really ugly. <laughs> I really don't think this page is legal. They probably could be sued for everything. Oh, you can even get wedding dresses? Oh, why did I not order a wedding dress? I don't know where to go with a wedding dress. It's just gonna be a waste of dress. Wedding guest dresses. <laughs> because let's be honest, that's all I'm gonna be. <laughs> if I even get invited. Vincent, will you invite me to your wedding? I would have been your wedding singer. You look so beautiful and wild. Would you wear white? You would probably wear beige. If we go on to this dress from Christina Aguilera, you can see that you can pick different colors. Whatever color you want, there's lots of options. You can pick a size, but you can also let them customize it. So it costs $10 more, but if you put custom size, then you can just put all of your measurements in there and they're gonna make it fitting to your body, yadi yadi. And when I actually ordered there, I didn't wanna spend that much money. So I didn't customize all my dresses because it would have been way more expensive. I just picked an M on everything, I think. And then the website's customer service, they actually messaged me afterwards after I placed my order. And they asked me if like all the measurements are fine or if I wanna give them my exact measurements like for hips and bust and for, you know, all that. And I was like, oh, okay, um, here are my measurements. Um, maybe do it with these measurements. <laughs> and then they said, yeah, fine. I will give it to our tailors. We will 
do it and I was like okay they still do it even though I didn't pick customized dress and paid more money for it so now I'm wondering did they actually customize it or was it all just made in an M like I placed the order maybe I cheated the system I also do have to say they have really good customer service because I had a really good mail exchange with them like when I had questions they immediately answered like it didn't even take a couple of hours obviously the shipping was super long I think the dresses were supposed to be made in like four weeks and it also ships from China of course so it just really took a long long time to arrive and they also didn't send all the dresses at once but as individual packages i'm really curious if these are gonna be made fitting to my body or if it's just gonna be very very cheap china aliexpress dresses i ordered five dresses and i'm not gonna tell you which one right now and i'm also gonna let vincent and you guess which dress it is that i ordered from which celebrity let me get my dresses out and let's look at them we're wearing the same color Look! Can I get it? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Time for the first outfit. Okay, here comes our first celebrity, Naomi Chun. <laughs> which is very attached to me all of a sudden because I'm wearing a certain fabric that the cat really does like to feel on his tongue. So broccoli. Do you recognize this dress from a certain someone? Is that supposed to be Rihanna? It is! <laughs> but it's a lot different, isn't it? Maybe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> This was from Rihanna's Fenty Beauty, some event. 2017, oh God, this is really old. I don't think I have ever seen something this sad when it comes to the salon or whatever this is. The color is completely off, which I just noticed. I mean, it does fit me, but also the whole top part is like super stretchy, so of course it would fit me. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a good dupe. Just the dress by itself, without this maybe. I would say it's a cute little summer dress moment. It's very see-through. What do you see? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's embarrassing. Yeah, the dress is not too bad, but why is it so see-through? Is it see-through in the front? Oh, can you see my panties? I just want to quickly mention that this dress was $130. I could probably also get this at New Yorker on its best days for $30. I don't know, guys. Just have in mind that it's completely see-through and you might not be able to wear it unless you want somebody to see what's underneath or you have a moment going on underneath. And you know what I mean by a moment. You probably don't. I don't even know. Look at the, how it's cut. You can see that there's something coming off there. They didn't cut it properly. I am upset. I am angry. Angry Anna. <laughs> I don't even think there's any more to say to the dress. At first I was like, oh my god, that's so cute, but dissecting it made us uh, all realize this is kind of trash. <laughs> By the way, I'm wearing a bra underneath. Stop trying to look for my nipples. They're not there right now. I took them off. <laughs> wow. Next outfit. Okay, are you ready <clears throat> for my next <clears throat> dress? <clears throat> it's a bit sad. Oh, you're Evelyn Hugo. No. 100%. So, who am I? Ow! She can take. Look at my lips. Wow. Kylie Jenner? Yeah! This is the Kylie Jenner green off the shoulder thigh high slit prom dress. I, you probably don't know the original, but this does not look like the original. I mean, it does fit well, but the cut is just super not 
very flattering. I think you have a great figure in this. I don't think so. I mean, I also I compare know. myself with um, plastic surgery Kylie Jenner, so maybe that's the problem. Awa. He feels safe down there. I really had high hopes for this one. This dress was $160. But I do feel that this might actually have been customized because it does fit my body perfectly. It's just not a pretty cut. I feel modern. Modern Kylie Jenner. I feel like I should write a book. <laughs> The Armen Seele in the Not. Vincent, a villain who sings. Huh? A villain who sings. Why do you look like a cow? What a country boy. I love you. I think I just wrote something. At least you can wear this dress without people seeing what's underneath. And I still think you could get away with wearing this to some occasion. I just don't think it really resembles the original Kylie Jenner dress. At least I have this kind of a train. <laughs> By the way, guys, I ordered five dresses and I just now realized that they only sent me four and the fifth one seems to be lost. Good news, guys. The missing dress arrived one day after I filmed this video. And yes, it is this beautiful Rita Ora Met Gala dress. Take the term beautiful lightly. We have this bow which we are supposed to attach to our dress and it just looks like it's been stolen from Sia. One, two, three, one, two, three. Also, the booby padding? What the fuck? Why does it stare at me like that? I also found the sewing pin still stuck in the dress. Yes, no joke. It was actually in there and it poked my leg. I guess they were just in a hurry making this. I don't know why because this is definitely the dress that's been shipped the latest. I can't even tell you anything that's remotely good about this dress other than maybe the color is cute and vibrant um, and it does kind of look like the original but you can definitely see that even though it has a resemblance it's absolutely horrible <laughs> the dress was freaking 200 dollars i did notice that i wore it the wrong way i actually vincent noticed but honestly wearing it the right way didn't even make it any better it just looks bad it makes my body look bad and i just cannot with the fucking booby pads that are so visible i try to adjust them so you can't see them but it's not possible because they are attached to the dress and they won't move i wish it had just been lost in the mail please let's just get to the next one the uh, next outfit <laughs> you will definitely know this one to be the person to say my childhood dream has come true if you didn't know this is a dress that Hermione wore in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire yes Hermione wore this dress well not this dress <laughs> when I was younger and I watched this movie I was so incredibly jealous of Hermione's dress now I was thinking, hey celebritydresses.com, I see you having Hermione's dress on your website. Let me become my childhood Hermione fantasy, thank you. I knew something was missing. Ah, so much better. <laughs> the color of the dress is just very off and way too pink. In the movie it was more like a dusty rose kind of vibe and right here we have a very vibrant pink. <laughs> you have to walk down the stairs. Oh, right. She's beautiful. Sarah. 
Hermione? Hey, Victor Crumb. Let me put a spell on you. Avada Kedavra. Ah! Oh no, wrong spell. Uh. <laughs> I'm Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Harry Potter. I feel like that could be nice in like a smaller size for like a child. Maybe. But I feel like there's one thing that needs to be done in this particular dress. There's one thing Hermione can do. It's the business walk. I think I flexed enough in this dress. <laughs> so this dress is $160. Oh, $160 for this crap. But again, I feel like this has pretty much been made for my body. I think this has also been customized because it does fit everywhere like pretty perfectly. That's something I have to give props for. Even though this part I feel like just does not fit, but that is not because of my bust size, but rather because of the length of the straps probably. Like this is actually really cute. Ah, uh, it's still ugly. Let's get to the finale. <laughs> in real life. I actually wear like a poof skirt underneath. They shipped it together with this dress but I don't really think it's doing that much. I feel like I need like a way bigger hoop skirt for this. Um, and There's red stuff on it. <gasps> yeah unfortunately we also like always have this cup situation which I just really don't understand. It's so unnecessary. Why would I need an armor for my boobs in this case? Maybe on other days. Vincent has the knowledge and he tells you it looks well made from five meters away. <laughs> but then again, I would also have to mention that this dress was $500. So it better be well made. <laughs> you probably could have gotten the Ariana's for that price. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think this is possibly the best dress today. It better be for the fucking $500. I like the volume. I like the fit, just not the fit of the bust area because this looks very old fashioned. I feel like without the cups, it could actually be really cute. Yeah, I wonder what I can do with this dress. You think I should wear it to some occasion? I mean, what else are you gonna do with it? to girls or boys who want to wear this for prom but can't afford a $500 Ariana Grande dress knockoff. I feel like all the dresses were like okay if you don't compare them to its original. All I have for you today, I'm sorry and I'm a state of mind. I need a new Ari song. Somehow this is not giving me the sitting down sensation that I wanted. I'll be saying my love for you, for you. And Vincent, uh, sh pink big Jean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> when you start a spread, it's hard to say you're never going back. If I'm not the one that I'm the best mistake you ever had. Oh, I gotta gotta write that thing to turn you on in your life. When I made a papa, you can be the mall. Oh oh. Oh oh. Actually, yes. Gonna last forever. 
Germany. What in the Germany is next stop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, enough shenanigans. As I said, my verdict is these dresses on their own. It's fine, it's it's not too shabby, but compared to the original, it's really shabby. And not shabby in a good way. The Ariana Grande dress was definitely the best one, but it was $500. You really have to think about your life decisions in this matter of situation, because do you really want to spend $500 on a Ariana Grande dress knockoff? <laughs> I did. I don't necessarily regret it. I hope I can give it to someone someone who is gonna be very happy about it. It kind of made me happy. It definitely gives you a bit of a Cinderella moment. So would I order there again? Definitely 100% not, but also because I just don't have an occasion when I would need one of these dresses. Let me know if you know a good place organization in Berlin where I can donate prom dresses to. Maybe there's actually people who need prom dresses for free. And this is my time to go now. Yeah. That was my baby Ariana Grande. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on TikTok. Naomi John on <laughs> And the Naomi John on yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Wait, Chili. Chili's trying to get back into my dress. Okay, goodbye guys. <laughs>